signal. Ten twenty, April nineteenth. Operator Vicente Miranda. I'm witnessing a microquasar at wavelength ninety centimeters. Celestial position just outside of our solar system. Based on what we know, the phenomenon must be powered by material being drawn into a black hole or wormhole from another galaxy. Whoa. I can't believe this. Something that looked like a meteor coming out of a wormhole? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I even ran a backup on the ModCom partition where observed files are kept. What did they say at the National Observatory? They show no records of it. But NORAD recorded a small meteorite entering our atmosphere exactly one week ago. They tagged it as an ordinary flying object, but this thing came through the wormholes from another galaxy. The implications are enormous. Listen to me. I think you're in danger. Right now, you're the only one who has any records you're of being it. being paranoid, Eddie. Besides, I'm sending a package to Senator Sterling Preston. No, you can't trust him. You can't trust anyone. You gotta send me a set of duplicates. Okay. okay. Hold on. I'll be right there. Hey, there's someone at the door. I'll call you back. What? No, don't answer Just the chill door. Out, Eddie. I'll call you right back. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 42, Century 5. When the sun bursts forth at night, the life of a star watcher is lost. But the truth revealed in the heavens is carried to a high magistrate. The star watcher Nostradamus saw could be Vicente Miranda, an astronomer friend of Eddie's who was shot to death in Ohio. Eddie hacked into local shipping records. Before Miranda died, he sent an overnight package with photos to United States Senator Sterling Preston. I can only pray that those photos contain alien evidence. <sighs> 31 minutes. <laughs> How fast do you go? Get Park could run five miles. Huh? Senator Preston, I just want to talk to him. It's all right. I can handle it. I'm sorry. I can hardly keep up with my own schedule, if you'll excuse me. Senator, did you receive a package from Vicente Miranda? Vicente Miranda. I know that name. He spoke at your subcommittee on space technology. That's right. As I recall, he wants federal funding to use radio waves to chart the solar system. Well, I'm sure that'll make a very nice coffee table book, but I could think of better places to spend your tax dollars. Miranda was murdered, Senator, three days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. I have reason to believe that he discovered something in space. Paid for it with his life. <laughs> Hold on, you're getting a little wild on me here. Before he died, he sent you a package containing photos. Did you ever receive it? I don't think so. I go through my mail personally. I checked the tracking number with the courier. Someone in your office signed for it, Franklin Garver. He's my aide. He signs for everything. But like I said, there was no package. Tell me something. How come you know so much about a man who was just murdered? I just know what I read in the paper. 
I'll tell you what. You give me your name. I get this package you say is coming. I'll call you. Just look for it. Eddie, it's Foster. Where are you? I'm in Delaware. Got word one of those well-financed hate groups just received a large donation from overseas. I'm diverting a substantial portion of that donation to finance our operations. And when you're done, I think you should roll into Washington. Did you talk to the senator? So there was no package. So, uh, what'd he say when you dropped the A-bomb on him? The A-bomb? You know, the aliens? Didn't mention them. Foster, you were face to face with the U.S. Senator and, and... what? What do you want me to say, Eddie? We have aliens, sir. Could you please ask the president to fire up the nukes? When has that strategy ever worked for us, ever? It is working. Your journals are building believers on the internet. Yeah, well, maybe you could rally all 20 of them to fly to Washington from all the candlelight vigil on the steps of the White House. Sarcasm aside, I lost a friend who was killed for a reason. And if Iran is the star chaser from the quatrain, then he saw something big. Maybe even the second wave. The senator did freeze up a bit when I asked him about Miranda. He might know something. So he might have a package after all. If Preston has evidence of alien existence, he's not going to talk to someone. Some stranger in the park. How do I get his trust? Only one way I know. Five watt, three channel, 928 megahertz video transceiver with a digital scrambler. You want to bug his office? Trust is a matter of principle. Principles stem from beliefs. And beliefs are best learned through deep, covert surveillance. I'm afraid breaking into the nation's capital is a little out of my league, pal. No need for that. Senate's not in session. We'll wire his home office in Maryland. I can be there in less than two hours. If we can find out that Preston actually holds hard evidence, then you can trust him with who you really are. And he might believe you. Is that worth a try? I'll call you the minute I get into town. See if you can ID this guy from what he met with Senator Preston after his morning run. Start with the usual suspects. Sam, I got a copy of a financial statement from a Republican Party slush fund with checks made out to Larry King. This conclusively proves my theory. Larry King's a political puppet paid by the party. You sure that's not Harry King? Huh? Harry King, campaign consultant on the Republican ticket. Oh, yeah. Stand it. Everyone in my face with their small problems was so weak. I know, baby. I have to be so strong, you know, all the time. Be in control. I understand. I understand you perfectly, Sterling. You're a small, pathetic creature. You crawl in here week after week, whining like a baby. Come on. I can't stand the sight of you. Fraud, a fake. 
You're so weak, you make me sick. I know, but I can't help it. Please don't stop. But I've been digging into Senator Preston like you suggested. Your tips are always gold, but this time I need more information. What am I looking for? I've seen evidence of a national security threat. There are those in the Senate who know what I know. They're covering it up. What security threat? That's all I can say. Wait. You mentioned evidence. Can you get it to me? No. I cannot implicate myself. Please, throw me a bone here. At least point me in the right direction. <sighs> Preston chairs a subcommittee on space technology. The committee gave a six-figure research grant to IAT's astronomy program. Start there, but be careful. Why? We're all in danger. Something's out there. Something terrible. Radio's working fine, but I still don't have picture. Hang on, I'm working on it. Eddie, can you see me? No. Patience, pal. The 16 dB antenna's got a one mile reception rate. Just a matter of finding the right frequency on this RF converter. And we got contact. Hey, Foss, you're looking good. Can you see Preston's desk? No, you're in the way. Now. No, it's too dark. Now. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the desk. Perfecto. I gotta go, Eddie. Someone's coming. Keep quiet. Hello, Mrs. Cohen. I'm sorry to bother you so late. Is your husband in? He's not home. Who is this? Samantha Ray, Washington Examiner. I understand a Senate subcommittee gave your husband's astronomy department a research grant. How did you get our home number? Mrs. Cohen, can you tell me what that grant was for? They had no right. Who had no right? My husband worked for years getting approval. He wanted a telescope powerful enough for in-depth study of asteroids and comets. I don't understand. A research grant would help him build the telescope. No. Senator Preston handed the dean a $2 million check, provided he shut down my husband's program. Look, I've got to go. Okay, Mrs. Cohen. Thank you. What you working on? Oh, hey, Vernon. Nothing much. <laughs> Sterling Preston. Should have been at Bistro 77 last night. Some NASA guy tried to pop Preston for cutting his funding. I think it has to do with the secret moon base NASA's building. So Preston's putting down the clamps on NASA, huh? Big time. He shut down the mission to Saturn, the gravity probe C, a fully manned space station. You're really plugged into this stuff. I don't know. I guess. How'd 
you like to team up with me on a story, Vernon? Yeah, I would love that. Thanks. So what's your angle? Oh, boy, Vernon. This angle's getting us a Pulitzer Prize. This is going nowhere. Patience. You get the chicken by hatching the egg, not smashing it. What are you talking about? It's an adage. No well, proverb, man. Let's get those two confused. Eddie, we've been sitting here watching Preston all day. No mention of Vicente Miranda or photographic evidence or anything. This is a dead end. Surveillance takes time. Well, that's one thing we're running out of fast. I can't stop thinking about what Vicente Miranda saw out there. How does this look? It's great. But why are you making fake ID? I gotta go to Preston's office. You can't do that, Foster. He's a U.S. senator, a creator of federal policy. You're a wanted criminal. It's a risk you don't need to take. Sorry, Eddie. You can't just sit here and do nothing. I'll go out of my mind. Well, at least disguise yourself. I got that covered. I'm going as a Republican. Great. Franklin, how much longer do we have to wait? Now, Samantha, you know what Sterling's like when he gets talking. And you know what I'm like when I think someone's screwing me around. <sighs> Senator. Yes, they're still waiting. I would say yes to that. The Senator will see you now. I'd like to see Senator Preston, please. Do you have an appointment? No. I'm the man he met in the park yesterday. Good to see you, Sam. Senator. And you must be Vernon. Yes, hi. I love your column. Have a seat. I've been about the Washington PD scraping DNA samples off everybody they fingerprint. <laughs> Got a kick out of that. That's true. They really do that. Vernon. I'll get straight to the point, Senator. We've examined the track record of your subcommittee on space technology. In two years, you closed three NASA centers, scrapped the Polar Cap Observatory, and halted funding on 14 proposed space missions. Well, what can I say? My feet are on Earth. I feel our money is better spent here on schools, health care, and crime. Do you know when his meeting will end? It doesn't matter. He won't see you. I am keeper of the appointment book, and you are not in it. You're Franklin Garver. That's what my mother tells me. You signed for a package from Vicente Miranda. Vicente Miranda? Didn't he record an album with that Brazilian drummer? What was his name? Tutti Marino. I didn't ever box your ears because I didn't like the sound of your voice. Because I'm real close. Now, did you sign for that package? Yes. So who do I deal with on this issue? You. Or the senator. Your views against space exploration are well known, Senator. What's not known is why you're engaged in illegal activities to push your agenda. That's a very dangerous accusation. Excuse me. Senator. I'm sorry to disturb you during your meeting. The man you met in the park is here to see you. Tell him to wait in my reception room. I'll speak to him after the meeting. 
where were we? You're about to explain why you bought off the dean of a major university. Your information is simply wrong. We approved a generous grant to IAT with no stipulations attached. According to the wife of a professor. The wife of a professor? You're gonna hang me on that, Sam. Then we're done here. There's more. Why were you meeting with the man wanted by the FBI? What are you trying to pull? Who's this? Kate Foster. <coughs> An escape murderer. I saw you with him in the park. Samantha, I had no idea this man approached me cold. I don't believe you. Then ask him yourself, because he just showed up in my office. That's what my aide bust to tell me. Security, now. Come armed. Hello. Eddie? Is that you? Eddie. Cellular service sucks in here. Senator Preston's office. It's for you. Hello? Foster, reporter with Preston knows who you are. Get out, now! Freeze! That was pretty cool. But why would Foster risk getting caught just to see the senator? We didn't learn a damn thing. You're wrong, Sam. That whole show back there was orchestrated for our benefit. Spare me your theories, please, Vernon. Preston knows what he's doing. Vernon, I asked you to lock the door when we left the car. I did. Don't turn around. Just relax. I wouldn't advise that. How'd you know it was my car? It pays to advertise. Start the car, drive. You signed for it! But I signed for 50 items a day. Mail that looks personal goes into your briefcase. Well, I didn't see it. No idea the situation I'm in because of that package! I'm doing my best, Senator. I know, friend. Just keep looking. I will do everything in my power to make sure you are taken care of. Foster, I thought for sure they nailed you. Hold this. You just added kidnapping and carjacking to an already long list of crimes on your wanted poster. Get out. Sorry for putting you in there. You got away. You can let us go now. I'm afraid I still need you. Foster, I heard these two in Preston's office. They know all about the entire... You wired Preston's office? If I'm wireless or phone tap. Wireless video transmitter for 4.5 megahertz sound carrier. Sound and picture. Cool. What do you want with the senator? What did you overhear, Eddie? They know that Preston's involved with the national security cover-up. Foster, his committee is shutting down all forms of space exploration. 
Preston's one of them. They've infiltrated the Senate. Why doesn't that surprise me? Who in the hell are they? I'll go. Brace yourselves. They are part of the... No, Eddie. No, this is not the way. They represent a legitimate newspaper, Foster. This is a break we've been waiting for. Get inside. You've got to be kidding. It's just for a minute. We... We need some privacy. Okay, Sam, just do as he says. Foster, you've been risking your life for a year to gather proof of an alien occupation. This is the payoff, man. Right here, right now. We don't have any hard evidence. We have the quad trains, your journals on the internet. We have witnesses we can introduce them to. That woman's a political reporter, Eddie. The minute we mention aliens, she'll write us off. I'll take that chance. Look, you have two reporters you took hostage. The least we can do is tell them why. No, they won't believe us. <laughs> They're reporters! They have to find the truth on their own. It's the only way to gain their trust. You've been doing an investigation, but you've been asking all the wrong questions. We can help you. I've never seen wounds heal this fast. How do you do it? It's impossible. I feared the day you would ask. I hoped it would never come. Nothing you could say would shock me. Not after what I've seen. This would. But there are others, others like me. If they knew you'd seen this. They all like you? Do they seek submission? No. They seek domination. But you're different from them. I'm not so sure. This pleasure I receive from weakness. I don't understand it. If they found out, they'd kill me. There's a fine line between master and slave. Will you return? I don't know. Every time I leave here, I don't expect to return. Hello? Hello, Mr. Previn. Who is this? Samantha Ray, Washington Examiner. I'm writing a profile on Sterling Preston. Who? Senator Preston from Maryland. He went to Taft High. You shared homeroom according to your senior class roster. Yes, of course. I just didn't hear you. So you remember him? Sure, we played baseball together. That kid could hit like a mother. I don't show a record of him being on the high school baseball team. No, of course not. They pulled him off freshman year when they found out he was playing. Who did? The docs. Sterling has a congenital heart defect. One valve's missing. It's a miracle he's still walking. Who'd you say this was again? Never mind. I'm sorry to bother you so late, sir. How long do we go with this? Everyone in Preston's background checks out. It can't be. There's got to be a loose end somewhere. Foster, what if they didn't fabricate Preston's background? What if they replaced him with a Gentech duplicate? You mean a clone? These, these people have cloning technology? This is getting ridiculous. Wait, I can prove Preston's not who you think he is. When I approached him in the park, he had just run five miles in 31 minutes. Five six-minute miles? Pretty good for a guy with a heart defect, wouldn't you say? Come on, you know something's not right here. If you don't trust us, trust your instincts. Preston's not Preston. Who is he? Not yet. There's one more piece to the puzzle. A package sent to Preston. I need that package to convince you of the truth. Does the package contain proof of a national security threat? That's the understatement of the century. I have a source. He might know something about this. We'll call him. I can't. He contacts me with tips. I don't even know who he is. You have no way to reach him. There's one way. We have a signal. I send a certain picture through my office fax. At work? Oh, well, that's convenient. The picture is at my office, and we didn't develop the system for your convenience. My source needs to see it to verify it's from me. Then he calls. Look, I'm hooked, okay? You can trust me. Let Vernon and me go. We'll pursue this investigation. I can't. There's too much at stake. We're losing time. Take this. Keep it on Vernon. If we're not back in an hour, kill him. Come on, let's go. 
Foster. I... You heard me, Eddie. Kill him. You have ten minutes before I call Eddie and tell him to shoot. You're bluffing. No, I'm not. You wouldn't have Vernon killed. Just get in touch with your source, please. I'm trusting you. Why'd you do it? What? Kill your wife. I didn't. I would have died for my wife. You have nine minutes. You better get moving. I see some ID. I'm just waiting for a friend. Step out of the car, please. Is there a problem, officer? Step over here, sir. Hands on the hood. Lockpick tools. Pick the wrong neighborhood tonight, buddy. I know the owner of this car. She's a hell of a lot prettier than you. It's okay, Mike. He's with me. You best explain why he's carrying a set of tempered lockpicks. I'm writing a series on Capitol Hill break-ins. My friend here has done some time for breaking and entering. I'm reformed now. Okay, you. Just make sure you don't give my friend Sam here any first-hand demonstrations tonight. Thank you. What happened? What's the plan? We wait. I forwarded my office number to the cell phone. containing photos, possibly radio astronomy images. Hello? Thank you for getting back to me. I followed your tip. Senator Preston's not who he appears to be, is he? How do you know that he is? I'm not sure. But I'm betting there's others like him in the Senate. You said you saw pictures. Were they radio astronomy images? Hello? How did you know about that? I can't say. Have you seen them? Can you get them? The stakes are too high for me. With that evidence, I can bust this story open. I know what I'm asking here. Meet me in one hour at the Willowdale Warehouse on M Street. Come along. Got it. Give me that. Watch them, Eddie. I'll be back as soon as I can. You're not going anywhere. I played by your rules. You want that package? Now you play by mine. 
You'll stay in the car and you don't hear him, you don't see him, you don't talk to him. I protect my sources. Sorry, but we can't trust anybody. It's okay, Eddie. We can trust her. She could have turned me in tonight. through it's my last option i already told you i'm going alone Two weeks ago. The notes inside from Vicente Miranda say it's a large doorway to another galaxy. And that radio emitting object emerging? The signature suggests it was a small meteorite. Is all this for real? We won't know till we see who our deep throat is. Vernon, what the hell are you doing here? Who are you? I trusted you. You better have a good explanation. Samantha, Vernon, she's my- Shut up! I said, who are you? Vernon! I don't answer to you. Who are you? Stay out of this. You stole the photos from Preston. They were in his briefcase. Vernon! Admit it. Let her go. Admit it! Whoever you are, wherever you're from, you won't win. Vernon, stop it now! I know something about you that you don't know about yourself. Beneath that mask, you're less than I am. There's something I'll never be. Photos, Samantha. Samantha, run! Photos. Now. Vernon, stop. Shoot him! No. We're going to the police. No time to be a hero, Sam. It's not really Vernon. The photos. Shoot him! Trust me! That's who they are. That's who killed my wife. Eddie. Eddie! Eddie! Foster! Vernon, he's an alien! Get the hell out! Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the tip.
Dominique? Are you in here? Dominique, I told you I couldn't see you anymore, but... The truth is, I can't stay away. I need to be dominated. Executioner. Please, help me. Grant me sanctuary. We came to this planet to conquer weaker species. I find myself asking who indeed is the weak. Humans will mourn my absence. You can't shoot me. I... I'm a United States Senator. You're a politician. Chimney change? No. There it is on page four. Washington dominatrix dies in warehouse. Senator wanted for questioning. President Sexless may have ended, but Senator Sterling Preston's have just begun. Preston's name has come up in an investigation of the death of Washington High Society dominatrix Dominique Chabot. At press time, the senator could not be located for comment. There's no mention of aliens. My editor didn't buy it. What about the radio waves? Come on. Sex scandal versus some splashes of color on film? My editor rewrote the whole story. I'm sorry. I did my best. What now, Foster? I don't know. Tell me how I can help. Tell me what I can do. I don't know. I find myself lost and frustrated, seeking guidance on a journey I did not choose for myself. Once again, we are unable to expose a conspiracy that this time reached to the highest level of government. But I must take comfort in small victories. I gain the trust of a respected journalist. Perhaps others will follow. I can only hope.